Hello again there folks, and welcome back to the Let's Play for Psychonauts. Brought to you almost instantaneously via the magic of the internet. Now when we last left off, I believe we just completed the lungfish level. Well I know we had, because it was five seconds ago. And now we're going to go look for Raz's girlfriend, basically. Although, you know, that's debatable of course. Feck off, crows. Feck off. Well, you're a sneaky looking sort, aren't you? What? Uh I'm with the psychonauts. Has anyone else noticed the grass is painted on? That doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Okay, okay, but Yeah. Who are the puppet masters of uh, This guy's gonna be tremendously with? helpful, I can tell. I'm the guard. I've been fully trained. <laughs> with the full blast You gotta let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. Right. <coughs> You're also not lip sync terribly well, are you, son? Well, let's invade your mind, shall we? Yeah. Seems like the thing to do. Not another tracking device. Nope, just a portal into your very inner soul. We're going to explore for our own amusement. Yay! A lot of copies of the one paper lying around, haven't you? Some sort of pack rat, presumably. It's perfect, isn't it? Oh god, you're not one of these yes. modern artists, are you? Almost you can try and sell this shit. Just a few missing pieces. Now, speaking of that, I was at an art gallery the yes, other day, now, which piece and I came across what was literally just the one who lumps of odd gate. wood cut off from other projects, milk, nailed together with the occasional Is bit of paper like of with things written on it, and I kid you not, crayon. No, Seriously, when I was talking to the, uh, the girl who was running the tour, apparently the museum actually paid for that, that piece of shit, you would you... The world like I do. Ooh, you can't even believe it, can you? I Perhaps I need one of these uh, clairvoyance tags we're about to get in the game here. Oh, right. Plus if you look at it through someone else's eyes, it doesn't look like a complete waste of time, effort and money. Ta-da, new psychic power. Yeah, it's two levels, two new psychic powers. Don't let it be said I don't treat you all. I think the only one I'm missing is, um... The confusion thingy. Wait. Right, let's do this. The dog Clairvoyance. Yeah, this is how Boyd here sees the world. Very mathematically for a crazy person, I must say. Well, perhaps that should be it. Math will drive you crazy. The milkman's dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, crud! Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to oh. the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something, all right. But it's neither man nor milk. Okay, okay, well, most likely a mouldering corpse, so people. technically true. Okay, Guys are disturbing yeah, paintings. Be, the only person who see. be careful. They're watching all the time. Okay. Whatever you say, Mr. Crazy Man. Now, how am I going to find some creepy graveyard in this nice, normal neighborhood? Yeah. Very, very normal, Raz. Brilliant level design, though. Truly, brilliant. Can I imagine how much of a nightmare it must have been to code it so you don't just fall straight off the world every time the level takes a turn? Yeah, you can go into all these houses as well. I'm not going to because all that's in there is a um, basically ammo for your psychic blast ability and a, every now and again uh, some titanium, which I don't need because I've already got it. As you know, Hello, road crew the only thing I'm going to do is pick up the necessary signs to get past the secret agents here that are posing as various members of the, uh, the public service sector. You're very odd. I can't imagine what it would be like to be an MI5 and say, right, today we shall learn how to be a telephone operator. Someday the it's rather disappointing. Will make my job obsolete. Uh, I do love the little shit they occasionally spout about. In what ways the job they're pretending to be part of is completely pointless. But yeah. 
So I'm not going to bother going into the houses. I'm just going to pick up the various bits and pieces that I need. Now this can be confusing, the camera is set up here to make it look like you can't get past them, but you can. Just you walk along the sewer. pavement here. The, sewer is the amount of trouble I've seen that give people. Uh, and this is the graveyard. However, as you can see, we can't go in because we do not have a set of daffodils to pretend to be a mourner. If you go in there, you'll just get arrested and chucked back out. So it's rather pointless even trying. Don't need to go into the water can area at all. The only thing that's in there is um, an ammo upgrade for your psychic blast ability. Which you can't even get to until you found the rolling pin. So, yeah. Now, listen. Hear that sound of another gate opening even as that one closed? That'd be this one. The way you are supposed to discover that is by using your clairvoyance ability on that crow over there. The crow will fly up. As you go through that little metal gate, you will see the orange one we've just walked through open up a few seconds afterwards. That's supposed to be how you figure it out. Of course, I've already played this level, so I already know. And you may notice the cameras are randomly popping up out of the trees and stuff. This is all styled like a 1960s American suburb, but you know, with the cameras everywhere, it makes me feel much more at home. Ah! See you all. Kill it with fire! Milk. Do you have any idea where I could buy some milk? For Supermarket? My cookies? I'm just saying that. It's not really difficult. Ah, creepy man. I'm not creepy, I'm just misunderstood. Right. Uh, ah, that's where we go next, isn't it? I'm gonna break into the mail office. Read everyone's embarrassing letters. I say embarrassing, no one sends letters anymore. Don't need the watering can at all. Uh, <laughs> no, nobody sends letters anymore. It's all email. Now, how do I trigger the? Um, I am a grieving widow. Can never remember. How do I trigger this sequence? I just got to get the uh, the access code wrong, haven't I? And that twat will come running outside to check it's all been done properly. After the door swings shut behind him, wait for him to piss off. Type in the code. Six five nine seven. That's completely random every time, so there's no point using this little walk. Well, not really walk for this LP as a guide of any sort because the code is completely randomised. It will never be the same. Six five nine seven. There we go. We can now break into the post office. I'm gonna grab um, a few bits of aggressive mental energy for what's going to be coming next after I do this. Because this is one of the few levels uh, within this game that has mini-bosses. Right, clairvoyance again. We see through the eyes of the camera so we can, you know, see, really. Right, it is a little difficult, even on my, you know, full-size screen to do this. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out on the YouTube video. Right, I don't need the plunger just yet. Gotta go activate the cutscene over at the graveyard first, before the plunger's then any use. Just shaving some time off by going to get it now. The footsteps are a nice touch to give you an idea of where Raz is moving to. So the game gets a bit confused here, it thinks, hmm, if he's got the plunger, he must have already done the uh, graveyard. But no, I haven't. And now I get a mini boss. I've never been entirely certain what the deal is with this particular boss. Let's see, levitation I need, don't I? Because I've got to avoid um, the grabby hands. Which you'll see in a moment. There you go. Try to grab me. Shoot it in the spine. Probably should. Oh, fuck, almost got me. Probably should try and save some ammo by twatting it, but. Shit. Not too good at it, that tends to happen quite a lot. But yeah, I've never been entirely certain what this particular mini boss. what the point of it is, really. I mean, we already know Boyd's damn crazy, so. what the point of this thing is, which is supposed to represent his paranoia in general, perhaps? I don't know. What hit. what the hell even hit me? Seriously. I'm gonna have to punch it now because I've run out of ammo. Ooh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. 
I do hate the delay between movement and action sometimes. Ah, miss me, son. Nice try, though. Nice try. Perhaps when you're older. Shit, missed it again. I keep leaning closer and closer to the microphone as well, which isn't as good an idea as it sounds, really. The new settings I'm using on this make the microphone very sensitive to changes in volume. Okay, now, need telekinesis. I gotta lob these explodey things back into your gob, haven't I? Or she'll just come straight back to life. Sweet. Now, much like Volvaga, he smashes rocky ass to pieces. And they got an extra life. Awesome. Come here. Right. Only six shots, really? Might actually have to go into one of the houses now and uh, recharge my meter. Because I'm going need it, to need it quite a lot before the final uh, the final boss. So I'll have to run into one of these houses and just grab a bit of uh, energy. Which can be gotten from smashing these books. For some reason or other. I can't remember how many shots I actually need to finish the final boss. I think it's 12. Assuming I hit every time. But admittedly, I'm not entirely certain, so... More is better and all that. Or is it less is more, or... You know what I mean. Make sure we've got plenty, that's the point. What are you all whispering about? Is it my hat? <sighs> this level make you crazy, son. And it is a great little level, though. Just the design, the layout, the music, even. It's, it's brilliant, really. The idea that you've got all these people not so secretly hiding and sleuthing about and they'll actually let you walk amongst them just because you too happen to have, you know, the particular item they're using to disguise themselves with. Ah, I see that you are grieving. I will give you your space. Right. Need to get some vines out of the way? By lighting shit on fire, son. And... Yes! Burn! Man, I hope no one notices all this fire. Hmm. Good point, Raz. Are a token of my remembrance for my loved one. Smash this door open and grab the book. The dead. What were you doing in the cemetery? Are you a grieving widow? I ain't telling you nothing, Kappa. What did you find in the mausoleum? Who is the milkman? That book you found was dynamite. Blows the whole thing wide open. Really? Guys? Yes, I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything, but now I've got it. That book came from the book depository. They mm -hmm. must want to make us think that's where they want us to go. Because they think we'll think we know they know we know. So we won't go. So I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. Of course, what was I thinking? The sewers. Watch oh, that you were batshit crazy. And radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. Sweet. Now we're talking. It's fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a second. Beware the cows! <laughs> My gun passes straight through the floor. Enriched. What a magical gun it is. But yes. Right. There is an unfortunate amount of backtracking involved in this level. It's uh, it's much like Oilivert, actually, from uh, Far Fantasy IX. You tend to double back on yourself a lot. Which, when you very first do the level, uh, like I did earlier, obviously, and you've got no real idea of what's going on, it can be very, very annoying. Actually, speaking of, I've encountered a slight glitch in the way the game saves files. Apparently, it doesn't uh, separate uh, rankings properly, which means technically, you could find an area rich in figments, well, a level even, rich in figments and such. And just constantly, well, save before and save after, and then constantly reload at the beginning of the level. And you'll retain the exact same rank. And it's possible that way to farm figments and get ridiculous rank without actually having progressed, really. Not that I'd recommend it, of course, that would be... That'd be silly. I mean, assassin. Who is shooting at us? Who indeed, man, who indeed. Right, we need two things to do this, the shield power, and the rifle. 
The rifles say they don't try and kill us. And the shield power so the dickhead up there can't kill us. Because for some reason, even turning invisible doesn't actually help. Never really understood why that is, but... Yeah, apparently this sniper up there is just so good, he can even spot us when we're invisible. Right. Now, I'm going to smash up a few things down here, try and get my, uh... My aggressive energy charged up a bit more. I can actually find. There we go. That's one. I'll do. See if I can get right up there to uh, at least 30 or so, maybe. Come here. I'll do. Right. Freeze! Don't come any closer. I surrender. Never tell you the location of the milkman. Never. Jeez, calm okay, down, Wind. I'll just settle down and talk. What? What even killed Where you? Is the milkman? Who is the milkman? Now, actually, you're supposed to have loaded one of those miniature helicopters what swooping through the window and knocking her out of that one. However, it completely failed to load it there. Come hmm. Your box of cookies appears to have a call waiting. It's from a Mr. Kaboom. Glad I never bought any of those. Hmm. hmm. The view from up here is pretty good, but I still can't see enough. I need a way to get even higher. Like super I wonder. High. As if what could we possibly fine. use? I know. Maybe I could find some stilts. If only, Raz, if only. Stop, helicopter! Land and let me in. I want to see the Right. Let's see clairvoyance ability back. You if I use it while I'm holding place. this, I should be able to get a bird's eye view. Well, helicopter eye view anyway. It's a great use of the I game's debug function, I actually, here. So imagine this is what the game would look I like, like uh, in debug mode. We are looking for the milkman. What a coincidence, so am I. We don't know where he is. What a coincidence. Helicopters can go up and down. Man, these guys are dumb. Yep, you said it, Raz. What ho? Hey, wait. What's that? I'll bet that's him. The milkman. <laughs> oh, it also looks like the pillows on top of his face there. Helicopters move sideways too. What an unfortunate graphical design. He's on that remote island over there. What the heck is that sound? It'll be a telephone, Rasputin. Very old one by the sound of it. Let's grab it, shall we? Hello? Who is the milkman? Boy, is this you? I think I found the milkman. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who is this? Okay, from now on, your name isn't Boyd. It's Royd. Because you're such a big pain in my butt. If you see the lady tossing her cookies, run away. You see someone being sick run away? Um, seems rather cruel, but okay. Sure, boy, whatever. Boy, Raz, that was a damn fine joke you made there. Very well done. Right, I feel like, yeah. I can only do 35 at the moment because I haven't got the upgrade. Though I have got the upgrade, just not in this version of the save file. Almost ran. S yes, yes, yes. Almost ran straight out into the, uh, the field of assassins there. Good for you. I, on the other hand, am not. I am in charge of I kicking your lot's asses. In clock towers and book depositories. Right, let's get up here and move. Ah, right, sorry, second boss fight. Forgotten about that. Ah! The squirrel had a camera in its face. Well then, son, if it's another ass kicking you be wanting, it's another ass kicking you be getting. If Raswell, there we go. Actually attack when I tell him to, that would be very helpful, young man. Oh fuck. Keep forgetting how short the range on the attack is here. And again, go! I should, if I can time this right, be able to get two of those hits and kill him a bit faster. There we go, I'll do nicely. Come on then to our features. Ooh, got free in, nice. 
Actually, did the third one count because he went into his runaway animation? Like the pussy ears. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. I'm fine. We'll be fine. Smack him in the face, Raz. Or the torso. That, whichever, really. I don't care. Go. And again. Ooh. Almost grabbed me. Almost. But almost isn't good enough, son. Not really. Sweet. Okay. Telekinesis. Where is it? There we go. Lop one of these things into its gob. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, fuck off. You did not hurt me with that. Uh. My god. He just crumbled. Was it something I said? Right. Ah, I got all my health back. Awesome. This is working out quite nicely. Right, now I need the Famous telephone back. And actually go where I was supposed to be going earlier. They're finished with their weird synchronized dancing. Rock and roll. Haha, <laughs> it's awesome. I've got this power, but I'm not going to have it when I load up the next set, am I? Because <laughs> it's not going to carry over. At least it shouldn't do anyway. And jump, Rasputin! Yeah, I'll be back down to level 48 when I reload this, because of the weird way this game saves uh, game file information. And jump! Ah, uh, fun times, fun times. It's actually the second level to use this. You notice they both happen in, um... Actually, no, they don't. My mistake. Never mind, never mind. Been many levels to use the grind function. Don't know what the hell I'm rapping on about. Right there. Yeah, special delivery. It's the invisible man, bitch. Shit. No, no, no. Oh, you... Trying to make money for our organization, sir. I guess I got to jump on the kid's head anyway. Coming. That's something. Gosh, I sure hope someone is there this time. Who is and invisibility. Go. Hello? Jump over a quick raz. Uh -huh. Um. Oh, hello there. Have you come to pay for your rainbow tree? We knew you the were. fuck is this? Won't you join us in our rainbow squirt pledge of purpose? To promote niceness. To make the world prettier. To share candy with everyone. To obfuscate the true nature of the milkman. To protect the Who milkman is the milkman, dammit? <laughs> tell me. Tell me now. I don't want to get rough. Actually, I do, but... Shit, clown car style. Should be crazy, son. The fuck is this? God, how many times I see that bloody cutscene, it still freaks me out. That's what you think, bitch. My god, he just sealed himself into a giant chest freezer. How very peculiar. I told you not to follow. Now you must die! But that is the way of the rainbow squirt! <laughs> ah, lovely. Right, so what do I need to kill you? Clairvoyance and marksmanship, I believe. No for you. Oh, sorry, did I smack you in the face with psychic energy? My bad. Well, actually, the game's loading the uh, targeting system a lot better than it did the first time. The first time, it literally would not let me hit her. Very peculiar it was. I hope this guy doesn't mind me running straight atop his little uh, cryo chamber here. Now, which way is she gonna go? That way. Fuck. Aha! I got her just in time. Quick. Go, 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 go! And again, Rasputin. Oh, 
Oh, serve, bitch. Your eyes glow in the dark. Truly, I could still hit you anyway. But doubly so when I've got this. Because I'm psychic, you stupid fool. Just turning off the lights isn't going to stop me. I'm psychic. Again, psychic. Well, you are screaming out your attacks and everything every couple of seconds. That doesn't actually help. Hmm, must have. Down you go, bitch. I win. Have you done? He won the battle. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Do you almost want to spend a day as a milkman just to be able to walk around saying that? That sounds ominous. What's the worst he could do? He's a milkman. What's he gonna do? Serve me the wrong kind of milk? I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery the today. The shit. Right. Oh, by the way, if you uh, collect all the memories, you do get a scene of Boyd getting fired from his job as a milkman and torching the factory. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Boyd? Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Oh dear. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? Pretty sure he doesn't, Raz. God. Come on, hurry up. Okay. That was a bit strange. But yeah. <laughs> sure, this can't go any worse than it already has. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I've been Lazo. He's been Raz. And that annoying screeching has been the fucking crows. Shut up. Shut up! Shut the fuck up!